Is that world record? That is world record. Jirachi's a trap. Let's go! That adrenaline rush! Hello YouTube, Huskymon here. Today I wanted to talk to you about how people are getting those crazy high scores you see on the leaderboards in new Pokemon Snap. They seem impossible, right? Well, there's a trick to it. Similar to the original game on the N64, once you beat the game, you unlock an extra feature called Core Scores. These are competitive leaderboard ranked scores you can compare with your friends or with the rest of the world, and these scores can go up to the millions. Now, the game doesn't tell you what gets a good core score, they just tell you to take a lot of pictures and of a lot of Pokemon, which is kind of true, but not the whole story. After securing four world records on my account with the username Sky, S-C-Y, I felt like I should share with you guys what I've done to get such high scores, and actually it's really, really simple. The first thing to cover is the photo scores themselves. I want to be clear that for core scores, star levels don't matter, for the most part. The only thing that matters is getting as many points as possible on a single route. If the route you've chosen gives you a subpar picture of a 4 star Hoot Hoot, but a really nice 1 star picture of Hoot Hoot, you want to prioritize the shot that gives more points. Second, you want to choose the path that gives you the most diversity in shots. More Pokemon is better. This means, like on the forest level, the winter route is by default the best path because there's just more Pokemon. More types of shots, even if some are low scoring, are more important than a route with less Pokemon but better star ratings. Third, and most important, you need to figure out which shot is the highest scoring one on your chosen route. Take a few passes learning your route, get shots of every Pokemon, and look to see which shot has the highest score. Oftentimes this can be a legendary Pokemon, but some courses that won't be an option. So just look for your best shot, ideally somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 points, if possible. Okay, so you have the basics for a world record run, but the most important part is how the game scores your shots. And here, the math is simple. The game takes your total points for the run and multiplies it by your diversity. This is why your course scores can get up to the millions. If a course has 22 Pokemon on it, for example, and you get a picture of every single one, it takes your total score of all 72 pictures and multiplies it by 22. And that's it. It's super simple. So the question then is, how do we maximize our score knowing this information? Well, the answer is surprisingly simple. All you need to do is take one, and only one, picture of every single Pokemon on the route. Try to make each picture as good as possible. But here, remember, diversity is more important than individual shot score. Remember that shot you determined was the highest scoring one? Well, that's where the rest of your film goes. If the route has 22 Pokemon on it, 21 shots will go to diversity, and the remaining 51 shots should be spammed on your highest scoring picture. All 51 picks of the highest scoring Mon will count towards your score, and then the score will go crazy high. The best way to get your score picks is to switch your camera to burst mode 6, which lets you get lots of shots fast and easily. And that's it. Follow these steps, take great shots, and you too can top the leaderboards for course scores. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. But even more importantly, I stream over on Twitch, and I would love to have you guys join us as we discover stuff like this. We play all sorts of games. Check me out live at HuskymonTTV over on Twitch. Thanks. Have a good one.